Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus for the month of November. Okay, I, this is my third try, okay, and I haven't gotten far. I've only not even got the introduction out each time. Either there was a crack in my voice, or the words wouldn't come out, or my throat was dry, or now I just got a something on my phone interruption. So I feel as though you're going to have a hard time. Maybe you're going to be having a hard time communicating this month. And what I, you know, it's like, because that's the throat chakra, right? There's going to be a lot of communication. You may have a hard time expressing yourself this month. And what I, what I was going to start the other reading out with was, you know, maybe, uh, you know, you got to have some sort of plan and you, your plan is, well, you know, you're not looking. You're not looking for anybody. If you're single, you're not looking for anybody. And it's, I'm talking about November, okay? We're, when this is being recorded in October. <clears throat> but there is somebody that is, uh, I, I don't know. I feel like there's unexpected uh, partnership here, okay? I feel like you're not looking for it. You don't want it. And... Uh, <laughs> You know, you may have a hard time saying no. So, uh, you know, I don't know who that is for. Uh, be strong. <laughs> be really, 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 really strong if that's not what you want. Um, you're probably going to need some strength, okay? <clears throat> so let's get started. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Taurus for the month of November? So this is at any time in November. November, November, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There it is. Oh! So you saw what happens. It's the Empress. Okay, that's you. That's your energy. This is a giver of life, a creator. I will shut that off in just a moment. Um, that is uh, glowing. You're glowing. You're looking really good. You're feeling really good. Um, you're radiating love. And everybody can see it everybody can feel it so that is love that is radiating love so this is all about love and creating a new life so you are probably creating a new life either for yourself or you know you are re uh, helping somebody because this is a mother this is a healer um, this is about unconditional love. Somebody sees your value. They see your worth. And it starts within you. And I think it's because you are loving yourself. Somebody else is feeling it. And, you know, they're being pulled towards you. Um, whatever that is. I mean, that is the birth of a new life. It is a new beginning. It's beautiful. I mean, she's she's the goddess of love. She's a domestic goddess. That's the energy that you are taking on. If you are the masculine watching this, that's not you. That's a woman. Okay, that's a feminine. That is a feminine energy. Okay, and in Taurus, um, I males, even though Earth signs do tend to be more of a, a feminine. I feel like Taurus males, based on my perception, are very manly, okay? Um, anyway, if you are the masculine watching this, I feel like you are dealing with an empress. You are dealing with somebody that is very beautiful, that has many, many options, that creates. This person it does offer unconditional love, will do anything, put you on a pedestal. I mean, the empress... Um, radiates so much love everybody knows everybody knows when she is in love so you i don't know if you're gonna and what's going on this week but it's a very sensual sexual and beautiful did i say week i meant to say month beautiful energy okay it's very very beautiful um being loved and cared for this month so you know somebody could be taking care of you you could be taking care of them however it is It's definitely a period of growth, fertilization. It's if you are of childbearing, you know, age, uh, is, there could be pregnancy here. Somebody could be getting pregnant. There could be news of a pregnancy or news of a birth. Um, I still haven't turned that phone off. Hold on, I got. I'll do that in just a second. Um, you're probably going to be getting lots of messages, lots of calls, something like that. Uh, what do we have, 
Taurus for November. Judgment. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Judgment is, and it even could be a reconciliation if it's not a Scorpio. I mean, this is a chance for reconciliation. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness, wanting another chance. Maybe you're giving somebody a chance. I don't know. But this is a this is a judgment call. Okay, this is uh, truths being revealed. This is ready to be judged. This is a wake up call. This is a spiritual awaken awakening. This is an epiphany of some sort. You're probably going to be needing to make a judgment call this month, whether you want to engage with somebody or not. What is the right thing to do? Uh, you know, so you are definitely going to have to make a judgment call. You are. It's going to be a very interested month. Now, judgment is a card of forgiveness. It's a card of resolution. Um, the end of things. It's the end of a trial. Um... This is a life-changing decision. So you're going to be making a big, big, big decision this month. <laughs> oh. so what do we have for Taurus? I know that you do. Money path. Interesting. And this is about abundance. Oh, i got to shut that off. This is all about abundance. And the Empress is about abundance. She's very, very wealthy. Um, mm, let me just shut this off. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. So there is a path that is opening up for you. You have to, you haven't found it yet though. Now this is a creator. So you may be able to create something that makes you money. Let's get some more cards. Now I guess we're going to take those. December. December is very prominent. So you're doing something in November and there, there's some sort of reward in December. December is when you get your reward. Just saying, because this is a blessing. This is a reward as well. So you are going to... Oh, wreath. Sorrow over a loss. So there's there's a loss here. I don't know if you're getting some, some sort of money for a loss. Because that's a judgment. If you think about judgment, if you, when you go to court, somebody's going to lose. I don't know what is going on. We could have a judgment that goes in your favor. You know, I'm not sure if you're going to sue somebody. I mean, I don't go around suing people, so I don't know. There could be an inheritance. Um, what is going on? There is some sort of sadness over a loss, though. December, I feel like December is the beginning of your new life. Something is going on because this is a new beginning, a rebirth. The birth of something new, a pregnancy for some of you, not not everybody, because some people aren't of childbearing age. This is, but that would be a new life for you, even if you are older. You know, you're old. You typically, the Empress is an older woman. Okay, somebody that has a lot of life experience that has went through a lot of pain over children. And making poor choices, poor judgment calls in the past has made somebody into the Empress. Okay? Sorrow, it is too. Yeah, this is the past. Somebody's poor judgment calls has made them into the Empress. Okay? But there's another chance because judgment is a chance for a chance for reconciliation or a chance for forgiveness or a chance for redemption even. I don't know what that means, but... I feel like you're you're going to get this is a reward the, the she gives birth there's a reward that is coming okay there's a blessing that is coming for you So I don't know what this blessing is but a blessing is definitely coming for you um We 
Whatever it is, a beautiful new beginning. These fell out. I gotta take them. <laughs> Woo! King of Cups, Six of Cups in the Tower. Oh my God. <sighs> well, you're probably dealing with a water sign, okay, by the looks of things. You must be dealing with a water sign. <clears throat> As my throat is is having a heart. Could be a Scorpio. We have Scorpio here a couple times. Okay. We also have Pisces and Cancer. Okay. But this is Scorpio. That is Scorpio. This is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This is the past. Uh, this is a rude awakening. Okay. Somebody is getting a rude awakening. This is a major disruption. Ah. Jeez, I'm crow. This is, this is memories of love. Remembering what love feels like. You have somebody that is offering you love. And I feel like you are going to be absolutely shocked by this. I knew that you were. I didn't even need any cards. I already know this is coming. This is a blessing. This is absolutely a blessing. Or you may not see it as a blessing. You may not. You may be still here. I don't know. You're going to have to make a judgment call. You are. You are going to have to make a judgment call. I think that you're going to feel very <clears throat> uneasy about this. I feel like you're going to feel, uh, oh, you know, disturbed. This is a disturbance. I feel like you will be disturbed. I feel like you are. You got somebody around you that is going to be... This person has some good intentions, okay? They do have good intentions. They may be expressing their feelings to you. It's going to reawaken, because this is an awakening, your feelings of love, okay? Could be somebody from the past. It doesn't have to be. Uh, whatever this is. I mean, this could be a soulmate connection it's from somebody with a past life, because this is past life right here, and this is soulmate. So I'm not sure what the hell is going on, but I do feel it very strongly that you are going to feel very disturbed, <laughs> okay? I feel like you are going to be absolutely shocked. I feel like this comes out of nowhere. Um, so this is for November. Oh my God. I mean, that's all I can say is, oh my God, you know, oh God, this is a, this is a major disruption for you. It is. It's a major change. I do see a major life change. It feels like there's a, there's a past life connection here and there's a chance for reconciliation with whoever this person is. And this could be somebody that you have been with in the past or somebody you may not have been because, you know, a past life connection is, doesn't mean that you've been with them yet. Okay, um, whoever this person is, you will feel very familiar with them. You will, it's like you will know them. And I think that you're going to feel a lot of anxiety over it. I think that you're going to feel, uh, uh, you may feel confused. You're, it's just going to be a complete shock to your system. That's the way I feel. Um, internal disruption. I'm just rubbing my chest. So I feel like you are going, I am, I was just rubbing my heart. You know, I feel like you are going to feel very um, uneasy about this offer. You're getting, you know, somebody may be, you know, really, I don't know what is going on. Let's get some more cards. Six of Pentacles, Reverse. Now, that's one-sidedness, lack of reciprocation. Didn't, not, somebody not getting what they deserve. Not giving, somebody not giving to the situation. Injustice. This isn't fair. Something isn't fair. Five of Wands. Reverse. This is a turning point. This is finding a solution. This is like a peace. Finding peace. This is the end of conflict. The end of a power struggle. But this is a major... <laughs> event. It's fate. I mean, the tower is a card of fate. So we do have a fated event. Now, this is not no fighting, not putting, not giving, not fighting. What the hell is going on? Five of wands reversed. Four of wands. Now, this is commitment, marriage, engagement.
happiness. I feel like you are going to... Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Oh, bastard. Ugh. I feel like there's a connection with somebody that you have known before and it's a shock to your system. This could lead to... <clears throat> I can't even speak and I can I have had no problem speaking I haven't been smoking so I don't know this is crazy I feel like it's uh there's an opportunity for happiness there's going to be a get-together there's going to be some sort of get-together gathering a celebration of sorts um there's this going to this is going to be a sudden it's very sudden a sudden uh get together it is this is a sudden get together with with somebody i think that you are going to be reconnecting with somebody from your past and you may not have ever been with this person before um it's definitely going to be a shock this is somebody that you are like i already said you're going to feel familiar with Six of Pentacles reverse. That is that is uh, not wanting to give to the situation, wanting to fight it. I can see that you're not gonna want to fight. You're gonna want to fight it. <clears throat> uh huh. Yep. But whoever this person is, the King of Cups. This is somebody who does have good intentions. They do have good intentions, and they are very, very. Uh, well, this person is very sharp, very honest, very upfront, very direct, uh, is going to communicate, is going to pursue. Somebody is going to be pursuing you. This is somebody that is going to initiate. I don't know what it is. They're going to initiate something. And I feel like they, they may have, you know, the Six of Pentacles reversed underneath that. That is uh, not put in effort didn't didn't give to a situation in the past somebody could be angry as well with the page of swords this is somebody who, who has difficulty communicating uh you know i feel like you're going to be receiving a message from somebody or an offer or an invite or something from somebody that may have uh treated you unfairly i don't freaking and maybe it wasn't even in a past life Okay, because that judgment card can be a past life connection. So can the six of cups. So I'm not sure what is going on here. You are going to receive a message from somebody that really makes you feel conflicted. Okay, because a message is coming, but it's a message that makes you feel conflicted. Okay, um, for some of you, it may be some of you are getting pregnant and you're not looking to get pregnant. I don't know whose story that is. That's certainly not my case. <laughs> but for somebody, I feel like there's a child. There's going to be a child. You may get that message, you know, that you're pregnant or that your girlfriend's pregnant or something like that. Um, anyhow, um, and it may be a shock. That could absolutely be a shock. Um, I feel like you are going to be... Uh, wanting to push somebody away but my guide or somebody is telling me not to <clears throat> page of cups reverse next to the six of pentacles reverse this is like a rejection of some sort unrequited love tears sadness so there's some sort of sadness here there's the, there's nostalgia so you're going to be remembering things a lot of memories are going to be on the table this month memories maybe of your childhood and i don't know where that is coming from and that's a different tidbit to this reading memories of when you were a child there's definitely going to be some sort of uh awakening here because that's an awakening and this is a rude awakening so it's like you're going to be uh, really remembering your past, really remembering what love is and what love isn't. You know, I think that you're going to be, it's going to be an emotional month as well. I think, that, I have to be honest with you, you could get some bad news this month. 
I don't know if it's about a child and I don't I don't know where that's coming from but I just I don't know if it is but there this could certainly be some bad news um, doesn't have to be about a child it could be about a lover it could be you know a needing to make a choice between two people as well so I'm not sure what is going on but it feels like there's there's some strong competition here so you may because this is this five of wands is competition so you may be dealing, you may, ha may have a few competitors or the person that you're dealing with. You may be, there's some sort of competition, okay? But there's definitely an opportunity for uh, happiness. Somebody could even get proposed to, okay? And there, it could be a very, it could be a shock. It could be a shock and you may not be ready for it. Or you may be remembering how somebody treated you in the past and they didn't treat you fairly and that's why you cry about it. I don't freaking know. Uh, it does feel like there's tears here and I think there's sadness and I think it's over a love connection. Ah! So, um... <clears throat> but it could be, you know, because you're, you're... I don't know. Let's see what this one is. Three of Swords. Hurt. Heartache. Pain. Painful separation. This is a life-changing moment. It is. So the tower is, is a shock. So I'm not sure what is going on, but this is heartbroken. Sad. So I feel like you are going to get some news this month that shocks you. Does, ha does have some sort of feeling of being heartbroken here. So I feel like you are going to be experiencing some pain. I just got to be honest with you. You may you may drop to your knees even or hit the ground or I mean you just got to be honest with you. I'm not sure if this has to do with a family member or a previous lover, previous partner. Um, oh, we do have I forgot about this sorrow over a loss. So yeah, I do feel like you are going to be experiencing a loss, but. I also feel like there is some support around you. There's some sort of support from somebody who has a lot of feelings for you. I don't know who this person is, but I feel like you are going to be communicating with this person. And I feel like you're going to have your guard up. I feel like you're you're going to feel like you can't trust this person. Um, you may want to fight it and push this person away, but my gut says that you shouldn't. Because I feel like this is some sort of past life connection. And, you know, um, it could, this is happiness. This could lead to happiness, could lead to happily ever after. Ten of Pentacles. Yes, sir. That's happily ever after. Long term success. Permanence. This is a long term uh, family, comfort, home, moving in together. I feel as though you are going to be developing a connection with somebody. It feels like there's some it's somebody that you know. Okay, you know this person. Um and whether you know them in this lifetime or not, I know I'm gonna get somebody that says, I don't want the person from my past. We get that a lot. Well then it's somebody from a past life. And if you don't know what that is, I suggest you look it up. Okay, this is a this is a this is a soulmate. I know that it is. And I feel like it's a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Scorpio here the most. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I I really feel like it's a it's a water sign. Or somebody has a lot of water in their chart. This is going to be extremely it's gonna be a chaotic time. I feel like you're going to feel un definitely uneasy, but whoever this person is, they're going to be comforting you. Okay. They're going to be comforting you. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is doing that. I have no problems at all. That is about communication. It's about communication and speaking your truth and being honest and being open. So I do believe you are going to be communicating with somebody that uh, really pulls on your heartstrings, okay? I feel like whoever this person is, if you were, whether it was in this lifetime or another lifetime, this person really broke you. Bad. 
but they're here to comfort you now. Um, so I think there's a chance for reconciliation. You're going to have to make a judgment call. Um, if you are coupled and you are in a relationship now, you may be just be experiencing an event that uh, changes everything. Okay, one of your either you or your partner could be reconnecting with somebody from the past that they're in love with. Good luck.